as we're coming to the end of our three month road trip around Europe, we thought we'd give you a tour of our van. Okay, first thing to show you is our passenger seat, which we put on swivel, which makes good use of space. Um, above the cab, we have storage and we keep our winter clothes in the basket. And in the center one, we've got all our toiletries um, as well. We've built this little shelf above our sliding door for the use of storage. It's a bit of an awkward shape and we've got all our travel books, binoculars, mirror and things like that all there as well. So moving on to our kitchen area, we've used IKEA units as our base and we've gone for the 40 deep ones on this side and it's two 60 centimetres wide units. We have a two ring burner hob which we've moved right up to the edge um, and we use this little heat shield that goes here just to protect our wooden worktop. Um, these are proper tiles that we have put on and we also have overhead um, cabinets which have all our cups and tea bags etc in. In the end one we also have our battery monitor as well. Here we have a pull out pantry unit where we keep all our tins etc and then just above it we have another two storage boxes one is actually full of dog storage stuff because they take quite a lot as well and then we just have games and electrical stuff up there as well we also have some under cabinet lights on here which are all controlled by a little light switch at the side so we've got two drawers here. We have the essential junk drawer as one of them and then all our cutlery um, in the next drawer. Under here, we have some camera equipment, our pots and pans. And in this one, we have our gas locker as well. At the end, we had a bit of storage space. So we've actually put in a laundry basket here. So over this side we have our sink unit, uh, we wanted quite a large um, deep sink and we've used a 60 centimetre deep by 60 IKEA unit on this one. We have a swivel tap which also has a pull out option and is linked to the water and under here we just have a bit of general storage, bin bags, cleaning stuff etc. So just to incorporate some extra storage, we have a fold up worktop here and we have also put in these little hooks from Ikea which we just found are really handy for hanging up coats. So at this end we have two bench seats. This one here underneath we have our diesel heater um, and we also have some extra storage in there as well. On this side of our bench seat, we have our toilet under this seat as well. Up here, we have our 4G router, enabling us to have Wi-Fi in the van. And we have two windows on either side and we just have drop down blinds on these that we fitted with magnets and then they go back up. So this area also doubles up as our dining area and we have a pull out table here and we also have our fridge under here. So moving on to our bed area, we have a full size double bed and we've made use of the space by having recesses at the feet area and also at the head, meaning that somebody who was six foot could sleep lengthways in this bed. We've got some overhead lockers, which is for our clothes. They are both the same size. And we also have a skylight here, which was already in our van with it being a previous ambulance as well. We've got the windows at the back door and we've retained the roller blinds that were in the ambulance as well, just to give us a blackout. Over this side, we've got a shelf above our bed and we also have two little lights with USB chargers as well. We've also got an iPad holder here just underneath the units, which allows us to watch any movies in bed. 
So we've been living in our van now for three months and when we return to UK we're going to make some changes. We're going to incorporate a full height shower unit here which will store our toilet as well. Move our kitchen units down a bit and steal a little bit of space off of this bench. We currently have a pop-up recirculating shower and we really like the fact that it doesn't use a lot of water. So we're going to incorporate that technology into our shower room. So I hope you've enjoyed this short tour. If you've got any questions, just comment below or you can message us off of Instagram. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.